Hello friends, welcome to Desi Teacher Videsh. So I am very happy to interact with you guys after 10 days of big summer break. I have brought today 16 fully funded and highly renounced PhD fellowships for the neuroscience, medicine, molecular biomedicine, biology, biochemistry, pharmacy or engineering students. So this is not fellowship. Yes, don't be confused with that fellowship. This is not. Neuroscience Academy Denmark. Okay, so for this announced PhD fellowship, deadline is 22nd of August. So what is this all about? So a newly constructed Neuroscience Academy and PhD program will begin on January 1st, 2023. And 16 brilliant, highly driven PhD fellows will be recruited by Neuroscience Academy Denmark, NARD, NAD. The applicant should be 16 bright students with a desire to succeed and a future in basic or clinical neuroscience research. The neuroscience research environments at the medical faculties of Aalborg University, Aarhus University, University of Copenhagen and the University of South Denmark are participating in both preclinical and clinical research as part of NARD, which is financed by Dennis Lundbeck Foundation. So what about program journey? So the chosen candidates will first work as research assistants for full year. The candidates will move forward to a three-year PhD fellowship employment, assuming they receive a favorable evaluation by the end of pre-PhD year, approval of their PhD study plan, and enrollment in one of the participating graduate schools. So what is this pre-PhD phase? So you will be required to participate a three lab rotation program, which includes the basic or clinical labs uh, during the pre-phase during the pre-PhD phase, you must be willing to travel to and stay at several sites in Denmark for a period of 10 weeks because the labs are dispersed around different parts of Denmark. So you will be a part of research group and participate in its research activities, general clubs, and throughout each lab rotation. You will learn about the main areas of focus and methodologies used in the lab research. You will enroll in NART's concurrent neuroscience classes. You are required to write a report and present your lab experience to the other NART fellows by the end of each lab rotation. You must have chosen your desired NARD lab supervisor and NARD co-supervisor who combined will match your research interest by the halfway point of your third and final lab rotation. You will create a PhD project and study plan with your supervisor and co-supervisor that must be that must be authorized by the NARD office. The, the prerequisites for applying for a three-year PhD fellowships are first, successful completion of pre-PhD year, which is just on active participation in courses and rotations, approved lab reports and presentations. And second, scientific board approval of your PhD research plan. And third, enrollment in a graduate program at one of the health faculties at one of four participating universities. So the pre-PhD year's main objective is to improve your knowledge and foundation and foundational understanding of neuroscience. The NARD will provide high level courses, symposia, workshops and seminars in all subjects pertinent to neuroscience research. You will be exposed to a range of methodologies, viewpoints and procedures that you can use and mix to develop your own PhD research proposal. So responsibilities and obligation over the three years as a PhD fellow. So after completion of pre-PhD phase, you will be uh, transferred to the main PhD phase or we, I can say the three years PhD fellowship. So what are the responsibilities and obligations or I can say the steps or tasks? So execute a supervised independent research project. Second, finish the 30 European credits worth of PhD courses, you know, like in all PhD courses in Europe, like you must complete at least 30 ECTS or European credits as a coursework. Engage in active research situation, such as spending time at different research facility, uh, preferably abroad, and activities that is spread information through teaching, publishing academic papers in high impact journals, and write and defend your PhD thesis 
and observe the graduate schools and your department's specific rules. Yes, you must follow the rules and regulations of your department, your school, and your university. So finally, you are waiting for the eligibility criteria, right? You must be thinking like, oh, this is only for the medicals, like uh, means only for the doctors, uh, the medical doctors, like who's, who are only MDs. No, 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 no. Eligibility criteria, you must have master's, MSc, or MD. Yeah, both MSc or MD in one of the following fields, biology, biochemistry, molecular biology, medicine, neuroscience, pharmacy, engineering. If you have the interest towards the neuroscience, still, if you, it doesn't matter if you are from engineering background, if you like write or like your cover letter or your motivational letter, we will go through it later on. Okay. But this is the eligibility criteria and all qualified applicants with a background in neuroscience are urged to submit an application. If you have the background in neuroscience and if you have a high interest towards neuroscience and if you have some internship in neuroscience, you are highly you are requested to submit this application you will be highly likely to get selected for this you must meet requirements for formal enrollment as a phd student at any of the graduate program yes so eligibility criteria means uh, you fulfill not only the this masters uh, uh, means other like requirements also you must fulfill like for example the english language requirement or more so what are the other requirements like have curious mindset and genuine interest in neuroscience be organized self-motivated something like that fast learner and possess strong english written and oral communication skills so either you can submit your toefl or ielts score or you can show that your all education perform all your previous education in english so you can submit a document by your university or like uh, uh, by a supervisor, master supervisor that you studied in English only in all your coursework. So what are the terms and conditions? The post is fixed term position with a maximum duration of three years as a PhD student enrolled in one of the NARDS specified research laboratory and one year as a pre-PhD student working as a research assistant at University of Copenhagen. The pre-PhD year will begin for all students on January 1st, 2023. Excellent salary and pension you will get accordance to Danish rules and regulations. So what are the application requirements? This is also very most important part, right? You you also were waiting, you also might have been waiting for it, right? So first document a pitch of yourself, right? As a future not fellow, six hundred characters means not four or five lines. That's it, I think, right? One paragraph maybe. So six hundred characters. So one well, like pitch of yourself as a future not fellow, right? Yeah. So means like, for example, as an engineer, as a future engineer, as a future doctor. So as a future not fellow, right? You have to maybe describe about like yourself in five, six lines. And the cover letter explaining your motivation and suitability for NAT program, 2,400 characters, 2,400 characters means one page. And the cover letter, Yes, about your motivation. This is also the motivational letter. So I already told many times how to write cover letter. If you need my help, you can also consult me. So I can help you to write these cover letters or pitch of yourself, right? So this cover letter is also a very important part. So it will not only consider this NAT program, but it, it considers like how your previous education or previous experience like uh, matched like how the, and how it triggers to like successful completion or successful selection for this NAT program. So a lot of things like should be included in this cover letter or motivational letter. So please go through my previous video or the motivational letter, right? Because here the cover letter basically is a motivational letter. So please go through my previous uh, video about the motivational letter, how to write a motivational letter. And two pages of CV, right? Yes bachelor's and master's diplomas as well as transcript of records in original language and including an authorized english translation if your documents are not in english please include authorized english transcription right publication list if you have any 
English language proficiency test if relevant. If you don't have English language proficiency test, you can have the document from like your university or the person who can just like uh, describe about yourself that you have studied all your ed previous education in English, especially the bachelor's or master's. Right. And the name and email address of one or two referees, you must prepare this, right? You must obtain their consent, right? To give the reference before submitting your application. You must take permission from them, right? Okay, you are giving their names in the application. So they must, they will be prepared, right? Okay, and another, indicate the not research column you are most interested in and a brief explanation of your motivation for this field. Also indicate a second choice. So you can see the not seven research column. There are seven research columns, or we can say research topics, I can say. So out of these seven research topics, you have to choose two. You have to choose two, right? So first and second. And you have to write the brief explanation. Why did you choose this? Okay, so this is the link I already provided for the seven research topics. Now, so you see the seven research topics four plus three, or we can say research column. So you have to choose from these uh, seven, first, first preference and second preference, right? So for example, if I go through it and I can find more information about it, for example, this topic, mood and reward, and you can find some more information and you can have the like contact details, like of the, for example, you see the professors, so you can have more information regarding if you have some doubts, so you can discuss, right? It's, there's no issue. Well, so this is the like the link. I, I I will also provide this link in the description box as well. So you can go through this uh, here, like uh, seven columns and you can click like each of them and you can have the more information about these topics or columns. Yes, and please remember, do not include this information about these topics in other documents in motivational letter or like uh, your uh, pitch of yourself the first first document you don't need to in, don't need to include this information in other document it is clearly mentioned please remember this okay and list of three scientific papers that you find especially noteworthy and interesting so this scientific paper is not your research articles because list of publications you already included if you have. But these are your papers like uh, you have to tell that you find, yeah, this is the very interesting papers or noteworthy paper. So, and I have to explain why you have chosen these papers, why you find them interesting. So 1,500 1, words or half to one page, maybe half page of maybe not uh, not more than one page you have to describe why did you choose these three articles that are that is most interesting and do not include the papers in your application only citations right that clearly identify the paper so how to apply so the link is here and link i will provide in the description box of this video right so you have to go through the description box of this video and click on the link and then you can go to the application page Okay, so so finally, like the what is the selection process? So first they will select or they will shortlist the 32 applicants and then they will be invited for interviews. And then finally, the selection committee will recommend 16 best qualified candidates to the NOT governing board. So this is all from the Desi Teacher and Videsh. And uh, now I have come back from the summer break and I will update you as soon as possible, more PhD positions, postdoc positions, jobs in Europe for the international students. So thank you very much for watching this City Chan Videsh. Keep in touch and don't forget to subscribe, share and click on the bell icon so that you can be updated for the other videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day.